India's ambitious Aditya L1 successfully took off. It is India's first space-based mission to study the sun. Well, no, the mission will not land on the sun. ISRO's Aditya L1 onboard the PSLV commenced from the Sriharikota spaceport. Now, the total journey time for Aditya L1 is estimated to be about four months. If successful, the Aditya L1 mission will be the first by any Asian nation to place an orbit around the sun. Now, unlike a regular PSLV launch profile, which places the spacecraft into an orbit roughly around 25 minutes from liftoff, Aditya separation took 63 minutes after the rocket blasted off from the launch pad. This is one of the longest PSLV missions ever undertaken. Aditya L1 will neither land on the sun nor approach the sun any closer. The spacecraft will be directed towards the sun. It will send 1,440 images per day to the ground station for analysis on reaching the intended orbit. Now, the spacecraft is equipped with seven payloads. Aditya L1, named after the sun's core, will travel 1.5 million kilometer from the Earth to the L1, or lag ridge one point between the Earth and the sun. Now, this distance is nearly four times that travelled by the Chandrayaan missions. Lag ridge points are points in space where the gravitational forces of two large bodies such as the sun and the earth balance out. This means satellites placed at the lag ridge points do not need to use a lot of fuel to remain in position. Like the Chandrayaan-3 mission, the velocity of the spacecraft around the earth will be increased till it is slingshot towards the sun. Aditya L1 will first get into an earth orbit then accelerate till it nears the final halo orbit around the first lag ridge point of the earth and the sun. Once the mission docks at parking spot L1, four of the seven payloads on board Aditya will view the sun, while the remaining three instruments will carry out in-situ studies of particles and fields at L1. Visible Emission Line Coronograph is designed to study solar corona and dynamics of coronal mass ejection. Solar Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope to image the solar photosphere and chromosphere in near-ultraviolet and to measure the solar irradiance variations in near-UV. Solar Low Energy X-ray Spectrometer High Energy L1 Orbiting X-ray Spectrometer are designed to study the X-ray flares from the Sun over a wide X-ray energy range. Aditya Solar Wind Particle Experiment and Plasma Analyzer Package for Aditya Plasma Analyzer Package for Aditya payloads are designed to study the solar winds and energetic ions as well as the energy distribution. Magnetometer payload is capable of measuring interplanetary magnetic fields at the L1 point. Now, Aditya L1 is supposed to collect data for 5 years. It is designed to provide remote observations of the solar corona, the outermost layer of the sun. Importantly, it might provide clues to scientists about a long-standing mystery. How the temperature of the corona can reach about a million degrees, while the sun's surface itself stays just over 600 degrees Celsius. Longer term, data from the mission will help us understand the sun's impact on Earth's climate patterns, the origins of solar wind, the stream of particles that flow from the sun through the solar system. It is to get a deeper understanding of the star closest to us and how its radiation, heat and magnetic fields affect us. So far, only the US and the European Space Agency have independently, also jointly, launched solar missions, while Germany has sent probes with NASA.